All right, this is the final video for chapter six, percentages. Should be on page 16 or the very, I guess it's the very back of your note packet. Learning target eight, I can find the total price given a tax, tip, or a discount. So basically, for instance, uh, actually here, let me zoom in just a bit here. Uh, mine's really hard to read, but basically, let's look at this one. This one's already done for you, so please be watching this, and then I'm going to have you guys really practicing these on the other ones, practicing these methods on the other ones. Uh, Stephen and his family had dinner at a restaurant. The total cost for just the food, the food was, I think that says sixty-eight fifty. I hope, $68.50. So that's just food and I guess beverages also, like anything they got to drink would also be included in that sixty-eight fifty, But as you guys are aware, there is a tax and there's a tip. Even though tip's not talked about in this specific question, this is just dealing with tax. But there's always, you got to pay a little bit extra on everything. Um, no matter what you're buying, you always have to pay a tax and yet, or you have to buy, or you have to pay a tip in, for a restaurant like this. So even if you're buying something like a house or a car, you have to, you're, there is a percent tax that you have to pay. And it really kind of stinks, but that's kind of the way it is. You guys will learn more about that when you get older. Now, here's the, here's the basic method of it. And really, I'm not even going to pay attention to, well, I kind of look at both methods, but I'm going to kind of show you my own method over here. What, what you have to do when you're trying to find how much a bill is going to cost when there's a tax involved or a tip, Okay, the first thing you got to do is learning target number three. Okay, and learning target three, if you'll, if you can remember, maybe if I can go back up, I'll just show you. It is I can find the percent of a number. Okay, the thing that we worked on, for instance, if you wanted to find thirty percent of ten, you would turn that to a regular number. Of means multiply, you get that, and you do point thirty times ten. That's three. The difference here, going, I'll go back to the, to the previous page here in just a moment. Now we're going to be taking that original amount, $10, $10 or whatever. I guess we're talking about money for the most part. And now we're either going to be adding this $3 onto that or we're going to be subtracting it from 10 So that's kind of the main, the main difference there. Now going back to here, okay, so... The first step that I got to do, because I know there's an 8% sales tax, what I have to do is I've got to figure out 8% of my food bill, 6850. Okay, that's, that's the basic thing. You've, in order to be able to add on your tax amount, we first have to figure out how much that tax is because 8% of 6850 is going to be a lot different than, say, if you were buying a house and your house costs $250,000, I think I already did an example like this earlier in the um, chapter, 8% um, is going to be a lot of money when we're talking about that kind of money, right? But 8% on $2 isn't that much, okay? If that, hopefully that makes sense because we've already pretty much covered that. So the first thing is we've got to do 8% of the whatever your amount is, in this case, 6850 So we're going to do that by converting that into a regular number. Okay, remember when it's a percentage, to convert it to a regular, we divide by 100, so that's going to become point, whoops, 0 0.08 or 8 hundredths, which makes sense because that's the fraction 8 hundredths, so that's why it's 8 hundredths like that, of becomes multiply, and then we just go ahead and multiply times 68.50. Now you can use your calculator, okay, so I'll go ahead and do it, 0 0.08 times 68.50 equals $5.48. Now the key thing to do is you got to be real neat when you're doing this because you got to remember what these what this means. Like what is that? Okay, what is five dollars and forty eight cents? And hopefully you're all saying to the computer right now or your iPad, this is the tax amount. That is how much is actually going to go to the government or you know whatever. It's it's it, that's going to somebody else. You still have to pay it as the person at the restaurant, but it isn't going to the restaurant if that makes sense. It's going to some to the government because it's tax okay so now we're trying to figure out what it's going to cost me as the person at the restaurant that's my food bill that's my tax amount as Stephen and his family are finding out they're responsible to pay both things so since they're responsible to pay both we are going to add them so again 
548 plus 6850, and there you go, $73.98. Okay, pretty, not that hard at all. Okay, I'd like you guys to try number two. Okay, hopefully you've already done number two. Should have been pretty easy. First thing you got to do, once again, learning target number three. We've got to find 7% of that. Okay, so we're going to do 7% of $720. Divide by 100 to make that into a regular number. Of is multiply, 720. Okay, and here we go. That's going to be 0 0.07 times 720. We get fifty dollars and forty cents. Now, what I want to make note of here, real quick, see how the see how this tax right here was a lot more than this tax up here in the Adam and Stephen and his family, okay? Because it was fine. It's about the same percent. I mean, it's, this one's one percent higher, but because the food bills, it's just a lot less than that computer or that laptop, okay? So the more the item costs, you you're going to have more of a percentage of it because it's all proportional, okay? So now this amount is the amount that's going to the government, okay? This is how much I'm paying for my laptop, so I've got to take 720 and I've got to add it to $50.40, and that's going to give me, by the way, notice how I made that $50.40 because money always goes to two places, okay? And that's going to end up being $770.00. And 40 cents. Okay, hopefully that's what you got as well. You got to be real careful with your rounding and everything there. Okay? All right, now we're going to do the next one together. This is the ones that probably throw you, and there is one just like this on the test tomorrow. Example one and two, you may as well mark it down. It's right on the test. Okay? Now these are a little tricky, and it's a little confusing because, well, you know what? It doesn't even matter why it's confusing. Let's just put it this way the way I'm going to teach you to do it is probably different than the actual way that your parents do it when they're at the restaurant. Okay, but I'm not going to get into that. So the first thing I'm going to recognize is right there is my food and my drink bill. So whatever I got to drink and all my food, my appetizers, everything. Desserts. Okay, that's how much it came to, 6570. As you guys have been made aware, the first thing you always got to do is you got to do learning target number 3. You got to find the percent of a number. In this case, our food and drink bill. Okay? So Here's the deal. Since I've now got to find both tip and tax, I'm going to have to have two separate proportions. Or not, I'm sorry, not proportions. You could do proportions here, not proportions. You're going to do learning target three twice. Okay? And so that means over here, I'm going to call this my tip. Over here, I'm going to call this my tax. Okay? So learning target three says I got to find the percent of a number. So I got to find 15% of 6570 okay and over here for my tax I need to find six percent of 6570 okay all learning target number three shouldn't shouldn't look foreign at all that's exactly how we've done it now just to clear up anybody that might be confused that maybe prefers proportions I'll show you okay you're doing a tip, okay, so I'm gonna leave a 15% tip over 100, okay? Now, the bill, that's the whole amount, so that's gonna go there, 65.70. But essentially, you're doing the exact same process, but you could do it this way, so I'll put or here, because these are the same exact thing. They're gonna give you the same exact answer, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, 15%, the first thing, it's gonna become 0.15 divided by 100, that's how I got 0.15. Of becomes multiply, and we need to multiply times that. So here we go. 0.15 times 65.70. Okay, now we've got to look at this. This is where you know, I spoke to Mr. Edwards this morning, and I talked to him about learning target eight, and he said what I knew, but he, he said they the reason a lot of students are missing it is because of their rounding. So I'm going to write that number 9855, I think is what it said. You guys, by this point in your lives, you should all understand rounding concepts and money concepts. Okay, we've been going over review sheets all year. We've had 27 review sheets now where we've had rounding on there or money or something like that. Okay, we sh we've got to start getting better at it. 
Okay, this is your $1 bills, and we've got to know that money always goes to two places. But here's the key. We always round to the pennies. Okay, we always round to the hundredths. So that means you always look to the thousandths, even though that's not a coin. There's no coin smaller than a penny. You always look to the thousandths to ask yourself, okay, is that going to be five pennies or is that going to be six pennies? Hopefully you're all saying, oh, I'm rounding right there. So five tells this five, tells that five to go up to six. So that tax amount or that tip amount is actually $9.86. Okay, and again, I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to just write tax underneath of it. Just, or I'm sorry, tip, just so I remember. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to become 0 0.06. Uh, becomes multiply, 65.70. Here we go. Do that in my calculator. Okay, you got to be careful with your rounding. 0 0.06 times 65.70. All right, here we go again. I'll write that whole number, 3942. Money only goes to right there. We look to the two. Is that going to stay at four pennies or is that going to go to five pennies? That's going to stay at four pennies. So that's $3.94. So let's look what we got here. I have my food bill. I have my tip amount. And I have my tax amount. What do I need to do now to find my total cost? I need to add all of them up. Okay, so here we go. It's going to be 65.70 plus $9.86 plus $3.94. It's going to be 79.5, not 5, 79.50. $79.50. So kind of an expensive meal there. Must have had a lot of people involved in their family. Does everybody see how to do this? Now, just to prove to you guys real quick here that the proportion works, okay, you could do, if you did 65.70 times 15, that gives you 985.5. Then you divide by 100, and there you go. Isn't that what we got up here? $9.86. So the proportion always works. The food bill always is your whole, though. And then your part is either whatever it's asking, the tip or the tax or the sale or whatever. Okay, so you can always do it that way. Okay? Okay, I want everybody right now... I want you, and you, you got to do this, I want you to pause it, and I want you to try example two, and if you can't do it, you're going to have to go back to example one and watch again, practice again, keep practicing, okay, because it's, it's on the test, okay, pause now, okay, so in example two, again, I'm going to go ahead and separate it, um, I'll do my tip here, and I'll do my tax here, okay, so the first step I do is learning target number three, or you could have used a proportion, once again, um, I'm going to do 22% of 12315. And over here, I'm going to do 7.5% of 12315. So I get out my calculator that I X'd out of. Okay. I'm going to make this into a regular number. So 0.22 of becomes multiply times that. So 0.22 times. 123.15. Here we are again. 27093. 20, 27 and 93 thousandths. Okay. Money only goes to right there. So what you must ask yourself is we're talking about the pennies. Is that three? Tell that nine to go up or to stay right there at nine. Hopefully you're all saying stay right there. So your tip amount here is quite a bit. Twenty-seven dollars and nine cents. That's how much you're going to be tipping. That's how much your waiter or your server or your waitress is going to get. So, and then I always like to label. That's my tip. So I just always remember, okay, 27.09. This is the food bill. How much my food and drinks cost? That's my tip. Now here, don't get into a bad habit. Don't automatically make that 0.75. That would be wrong. You got to remember, we're dividing by 100. Dividing by 100, so 7.5 divided by 100 is 0 0.075. Uh, becomes multiply, 123.15. So again, here we go. Let's figure out my tax amount, how much is going to the government. 0 0.075 times 123.15. Oh boy, look at that. 
9.23625. Um, okay, it's a big number. But, you know, the only thing that matters is to two digits. That's what you guys got to remember. That's the pennies. We must look to the thousands to tell us if that's closer to having four pennies or three pennies. Because that's a six, five or more. That's going to be nine dollars and 24 cents so if you notice as you're going through here if you're like one penny off if you had 923 here or something else here if if you're a couple pennies off it's all about rounding so now I know how much I paid for food and drinks I know how much I paid for my tip how much my server got and I know how much tax I have to pay so now to find my total cost I'm going to add them up 123.15 plus 27.09 plus 9.24. It's going to be $159.48. So hopefully you got that figured out, but you must do them separately. Like I said, if worse comes to worse right now, go and do more of these. Just or, you know, just make up your own. Your parents can all help you with this if, if they're able to watch this because it's all broken down. It's, it's I think, you know, with percentages and whatnot, as just adults, we use percents a lot in our life. So if you show them kind of the process, have them make up a food bill for you. Oh, my food bill was $40.92. And then just use the same tip and tax. They, they'll be able to calculate it for you. They'll be able to do it. Okay, so that's how you can kind of practice there. So there will be one just like that tomorrow on the test. Okay? All right, example three. A pair of LeBrons. LeBron 11s usually cost $249.99. The finish line ad was offering a 20% off on all LeBron, LeBron's shoes. How much will you save by using the discount? Okay, so that's the first question I'm going to answer. Now, again, the first step you must do is you must do learning target number three. Okay, you must figure out what 20% of 24999 is. Because we got to know, well, how much are we saving? Okay, that's what we've got to figure out what 20% is. So again, we've got to do 0.20 times that. Okay, so that's going to be 0.20 times 249.99. And here we are again with this with this goofy stuff. Let's go down and write it. $49. Where'd it go? And 998. Now this is a really kind of a challenging one because this one is, the numbers really are kind of weird. So when I look here, I go, okay, I looked here. What does the thousands tell my pennies to do? They tell my pennies to go up to 10, okay? Well, you guys know that when a number tells, if you go up, you can't go up to 10. You can't have two digits in one place value. So basically that tells this nine to go up to 10, but then that goes up to 10. And then that tells this nine to go up to 10 which then makes the four. So actually, this would round to fifty dollars even. Okay, that's kind of challenging because of the because of the rounding. But because every every one you rounded, okay, that would that would round up to ten, right there. That should become ten, but you can't have that. So it'd make this one become ten, make this one become ten, and these would just become zeros. And then obviously it'd make this one become five. So that'd be fifty bucks. So how much am I saving? Well, you're saving fifty dollars. That's how much that twenty percent is saving you. Okay, that's the first thing. That's the discount or the savings, $50. So I'm going to write discount. That just means how much it's off. Again, you can have your parents give you these examples all day long. They, this chapter probably relates more to the regular life than any chapter we've done because they, everybody's gone to the store. Everybody sees, oh, 25% off this pair of shoes, 25% off this shirt, 25% off here. You know, that, that stuff's in our real life. So your parents can give you practice problems on this as well and should be able to check them for you. Uh, now, the second part to this question is what will you pay for the LeBron 11s after you use the discount? Okay, well, if this was the original cost and that's how much you're saving, you're not going to add it. You're not going to do $249.99 plus 50. Then you'd be, you wouldn't, you'd be paying more. You're going to use subtraction. So you're going to do $249.99 and you're going to subtract that $50 and we'll come up here to it and that's going to be 249.99 minus 50 
is one hundred ninety nine and ninety nine cents. Should make perfect sense. Okay. Um, I would like you guys to please try example number four. Okay. So a Vera Bradley backpack costs one hundred thirty dollars. Using Mrs. Allen's employee discount, you're going to save fifteen percent. How much will you save? Okay, so again, we're right back to this step, learning target number three. Okay, finding the percent of that. So I've got to do 15%. i got to figure out what 15% is of 130. So we make that 0.15 of becomes multiply and then 130. Hopefully you did this. Um, so I'm going to do 0.15 times 130. Okay, that means that... $19.50. But where students get really confused is that's not how much the, 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 the backpack's going to cost. That's the biggest thing. That's one thing you got to know. That 15% is only representing how much you will save. So you could call this the savings. Or as I called it up here, you could call it the discount. Those are all synonyms of each other. They mean the same thing. Okay? So now the second part of this question, how much will the backpack cost? Well, just like we did with the LeBron 11s, we're going to take the original cost of the backpack and we're going to subtract the 1950 that we're going to get discounted because of Mrs. Allen's um, employee discount. So it's going to be 130 minus 1950 and it's going to be 110.5 which would be 50 cents. Okay, just so you guys are all aware, that's, by the way, that would be the new cost. Okay, should make sense. Um, all this could be used as proportions, all these, okay? I mean, you could do them with proportions. It would look like this, okay? If, if you're, you're given 15%, so you say, okay, this is going to be 15% off. You just kind of write that as, in as a label. I'll do it in a different color. That's just reminding me that that 15% is representing how much it is off. Put your 100 there, and then your part and your whole. And then remember, <clears throat> the bottom always equals the total. And this then obviously is the off because labels always remain the same. So you just ask yourself, is that number right there, 130, is that representing the how much it's off or is that representing the total? And hopefully you're all saying total because if you paid 100% of the cost, you'd be paying 130. Now you could um, do 130 times 15 divided by 100 and you get 1950. So there you go. We got this. It's the same thing. I mean, these are like the same thing. Just like I showed you up here. Uh, I think I erased it. But you can, anytime you're doing percentages, percent of a number, that's just a proportion like this. Okay, it's the same thing. We still got that much off. You still had to do this step, but it's the same thing. Okay, so I, I think, I, I really hope you guys are going to practice. I know there was only a few problems on here, but like I said, just make up some. And have your parents check it. You could probably go to Google and type in, type in uh, tip, or you all have tip calculators on your, on your phones probably. Or there's an app or something. You can make up numbers. Say, okay, I have, I'm buying something that's two hundred fifty dollars and it's twenty two percent off. Okay, and then go and try to do it the way I tell you, and then just go to like a, find an app or find if you have a tip calculator on the on your phone, which I don't know if you do or not, but then use it okay because and then obviously your parents can check you as well because like i said this is your parents even though they might laugh at you if you come and ask them for help <laughs> then you can they can still help you with this because this is pretty much real life i think and as long as you show them kind of how i want it done they will they'll be able to help you so remember test tomorrow study study i want you guys to all do really well it's your first test of the um, fourth quarter so let's hope you get off to the on a strong note see you guys